Hello and good morning. This is Kuldeep Chaudhary from Health in India. We are joined today by one of the most renowned persons when it comes to international healthcare marketing of the Indian uh, healthcare facilities, uh, Mr. Avik Moitra. Avik has a very checkered career spanning almost two decades now across all uh, industries which includes FMCG, banking and the last uh, six years have been spent with the healthcare facilities. He has headed uh, the marketing departments, the international marketing departments at the top end hospitals and for the last three years he's been running uh, one of the most successful medical tourism companies. Healthcare in India is slowly starting to get the shape of an industry. International patients are coming to India in a small numbers. Uh, there are lots of analysts who uh, believe that uh, international medical tourism is going to become a very big business. Let us uh, talk to Abhek and try to understand uh, what, is, what are his views on uh, how this uh, segment can be developed and what, what is the way ahead. Welcome uh, Abhek uh, to Health in India. First of all, I would like to congratulate you on you know the manner in which you have uh, not only set up this company, Ibeam Global, but uh, have taken it to places in the last three years. I had the privilege of working alongside you at Artemis Hospital, so we, we know each other pretty well. Uh, tell our viewers, uh, you know, what different is Hybeam Global doing from the so many medical tourism companies that abound around here? Well, Kuldeep, first of all, I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to have presented my views on the topic. Uh, coming back to your question, how Hygiene Global is different from the other medical tourism companies, I think uh, the difference starts from the name itself. Medical tourism is uh, basically an American terminology for people who are traveling on tourism purposes and as well getting something done to themselves. Uh, but here, when it comes to India, people from all over the world come here to get themselves treated on cardiac matters, cancer, neurosurgeries, orthopedics. Tourism is the last thing on their mind. So what they are undertaking is medical travel and the people who are helping them to take medical travel are providing assistance in their medical travel. So at best, this business can be called a business of medical assistance or international medical assistance. So that is where the difference starts. Difference number two comes with the thought process. Our job is does not start with identifying a patient. Our job does not stop when the patient has gone back. Our job starts at developing healthcare, taking in Indian healthcare into the foreign lands, into the hospitals, into the doctors who are working in those foreign lands. So our job is not only to get a patient or two from them, but also to add value into their businesses, into their career, into their skill set development. And in turn, of course, proving that Indian healthcare is the, actually the capital of the world when it comes to health. Well, at Hygiene Global, we do have an operations team, which takes care of the patients every need, which also takes care of attendants every need. It is said that if you take care of the attendant, the attendant takes care of the patient. So we take care of the both. Number one definitely matters is the doctor's skill, skill sets. The four walls of the hospital do not treat people. It is the doctor who treats people. So the training and the skill set of a doctor matters a lot. That is criteria number one. Criteria number two is obviously the skill set of the hospital to take care of the patient. Because once the doctor has done the treatment, his job is over and then comes the patient care, which is done by the nursing team, the international team, the billing department, etc, etc. The third criteria definitely is the technological edge that a hospital may have. So a hospital A and hospital B may have the similar kind of doctors, but the hospital A may have a better technological advantage, so our preference goes for that particular hospital. The fourth and the last one definitely is the cost. A hospital which can keep their cost under control is a choice of hospital for us. We keep a distinction, at the same time we ensure that the requirement of our client is met first. 
If he requires a low cost hospital, we can give one. If he wants something with a very high skill set of a doctor, we can give one. If something is required on the technical low how we can give one. For example, some of the hospitals have cyber knife, some of the hospitals they do not have cyber knife. So a brain cancer patient who needs only a cyber knife cannot be rushed into a hospital which does not have that facility. We need to have all the hospitals in our bouquet so that we can completely offer a range of services from A to Z meeting all the requirements. Indian doctors have always been in favor. If you go to US, UK, you find almost like every six or seven doctor is an Indian doctor. So what, and as I told earlier, it is the doctor who treats the patients. So Indian doctors have always been in favor. With improvement that has happened in the healthcare infrastructure in the last 15 years time, India, at least in the last five years, has become the capital of healthcare delivery in the world. is our biggest advantage. We can deliver better medical results compared to some of our counterparts in possibly one-fifth of the cost. Compared to Thailand, Singapore, Turkey, Jordan, which are our nearest competitor when it comes to medical travel, our costs are still almost like 30% of theirs or 40% at best. So cost is our biggest advantage. Language, skill sets on language is our biggest advantage. Most of our healthcare uh, people they speak English. So language is never a barrier. Definitely price is one but it is not the only thing. There are many many treatments and India is doing some path breaking things. For example the liberation procedure for a multiple sclerosis treatment. It is not, there are not many destinations in the world who are doing that treatment. So there are a lot of Americans and Canadians who have come to India and got liberation treatment done for their multiple sclerosis syndrome. There is something called a diabetic surgery, a metabolic surgery called treatment of diabetes. The concept has not very well popularized in the western countries because they are not that kind of risk taking in doctors. But in India, we are offering metabolic diabetic surgery which can offer you freedom from diabetes. So the product which itself also offers something that, uh, that creates an advantage of India over other things. So we are uh, trendsetters. A metabolic diabetic surgery or a liberation treatment was not done at a such a large scale in any other uh, any other body uh, If you see the sheer volume of patients that we do, and at the same time the kind of success rate we maintain, we can claim ourselves to be the best. Yes, technology uh, is not available to every nook and corner of the country, but we are going there. Today, till about yesterday, only Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai were famous for uh, healthcare delivery. Today, if you see the tier 2 uh, cities like Lucknow, Ahmedabad, Jaipur, has become equally So, powerful. the mantra given by Abhik is that always develop people, build teams, never be scared of uh, your own subordinates, uh, support them, and you will uh, become successful. Thank you, Abhik. And thanks a lot thank for talking so to us. Uh, you've given uh, great inputs uh, to our viewers, and uh, we sincerely hope uh, the very, very best for you and your company. Thank you so much. Thank you.